it's that time of year. The weather is turning cold, people are preparing for the new year, and influenza activity is on the rise, leaving people asking one question, how bad will this flu season be? We know that the flu season is coming, but now we have all these kind of igniters or initiation into making it a more severe um, infection. It's no secret that the flu is contagious. The CDC says people can pass sickness along from the day before symptoms start until the day they make a full recovery. It's spread by these large droplets that if someone sneezes or coughs or wipes their nose and places it on a surface. Infectious disease experts stress the importance of hand washing, mask wearing, and vaccination. Countries that have had either reduction in masking or drop in rates of flu vaccination have been more blindsided by the uh, almost like the overall surge in influenza. New York State declared the start of the 2023 flu season on December 6th. Even with influenza on the rise, health experts say it's not too late to get the shot. For the flu shot, it's really trying to get it before we hit peak flu season. Well, vaccines don't prevent the flu. With them, studies show anywhere from a 40 to 60 percent reduction in flu symptom severity. If you didn't get your vaccine and you get incredibly sick or something happens, it's, it's really having regret that what if I got that vaccine, would I be in the same situation? Everyone six months and older is eligible for their annual flu shot. Health experts recommend everyone get vaccinated, especially those at higher risk of complications and people who live with or care for someone at risk. For Arnett Health, I'm Lexi Cutmore.